Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tiffany. If you're new here, I'm new here. It's a new channel. Um, today I want to share with you my favorite putting drill. I learned this playing for San Jose State and it's helped me to sink a lot more birdie putts. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, here we go. So the first thing I did was set up two tees, one 15 feet away from the hole with a downhill putt. As you can see here, that's where I'm starting. And then I have another tee on the other side of the hole, uh, 15 feet away as well, that's coming uphill. So the objective here is we want the ball, <laughs> obviously we wanna make it, but we wanna give it an opportunity. So a short putt is gonna be minus one point, whereas a make, as we can see here, boom, yes. Okay, so that's gonna be three points. And if we just get it past the hole, we're gonna consider it one point, but it has to be past the hole within either three feet or a club length. The whole entire like goal of this drill is to make sure you're getting the ball to the hole, giving it the best shot possible. Um, <laughs> my coach would always say, like he's never seen a putt go in the hole that was short. You have a 0% chance. All right, so we went ahead and I made two of them. So I'm at six points now. We're hitting 10 putts total. My personal goal, I always wanna get at least 10 points. That means all 10 shots or 10 putts are getting past the hole with a good speed. So this is really gonna help you have way more opportunities for the ball to drop, to have a lot more birdies. Um, yeah, it really helps with just matching your line and speed. So here for the uphill putt, I take my practice wings. I have to think and reset because it's not downhill anymore and I need to hit it a little bit more firm. So if you are, you know, somewhere where there's grain, <laughs> that's another thing to take into consideration. Here I'm in California, so we're just focusing on uphill versus downhill. Not a lot of grain to work with. So I got both putts past the hole. They're considered safe, so that's another two points. Let's see how I finish up. The goal is 10, so <laughs> hopefully we do well. Hopefully no putts left short. We'll see. Something I like to think about when I'm switching locations from the uphill putt to the downhill putt is picking a point that matches the speed that I'm going for. So a big key to distance control for myself would be um, like having this downhill putt, I'll pick a spot that's on my line, but short of the hole so that I'm not going like way past the hole and not adapting to the downhill. Boom, looks like we made it. Okay, so another three points. Now we're gonna move to the uphill location. And from over here, I'm gonna pick a spot to really focus in on that's actually past the hole at the highest point of the break or the curve that I see in the putt. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on when I'm taking my practice strokes, as you can see. Let's see how I do. Okay, so just one point, we got it past the hole, it's safe. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the next putt. Pick a spot that's past the hole. I think the biggest key to this drill is making sure that you're staying awake, that you're adapting to uphill and downhill. Um, I like to choose a putt that has just a little bit of movement on it, a little break, so it's realistic to the course. And see, both of those putts had an opportunity, I just needed to get the line right. but. They're both within the either putter length or three feet, whatever you want to go with. Now back here to the downhill. These are our last two putts. Let's see how we can do. <laughs> We 
got that one in, it's safe for one point. Still following the same routines as before, visualizing a spot on my line, just short of the hole, putting to that. Let's see how we do our final putt. Oh no, and it just keeps going. <laughs> okay, so this one ended up being minus one point. It wasn't within the club length or three feet. So today we got a total of 14 points. So the goal was 10 points, but I like to get somewhere around 13 or 14 points. I feel like that means I'm making a good amount of birdies, gives me a little room for error, but definitely having, <laughs> ending on that note, uh, not thrilled about it. So gotta go back to the course for a little redemption. I don't like that the last putt was minus one point. Okay, if you guys try out this drill, let me know, leave a comment. I hope it helps you like it's helped me and like, subscribe, do all the YouTube things and come back for more because I'm happy to be here. Bye. <laughs>